So the next 10 verses are going to be a uh, really important vision, the first vision that Zechariah gives us. Let's, let's listen in. On the 24th day of the 11th month, which is the month of Shabbat, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came to Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, the son of Edo, the prophet. So this is a lot like Zechariah chapter 1. Uh, there's some things we didn't say there. Zechariah is a young man. He uh, is a godly man. He wants to serve the Lord. And he is the son of Berechiah. Now in Hebrew, Berechiah means blessing. Barak means blessing. We don't know a lot about his family, about his father. But it seems like his father was known as Mr. Blessing. And then, of course, it says he is the, uh, also connected here with Edo, the prophet. So here's a guy who has spiritual mentors and people around him. And that's the kind of guy he is. He's a young person who's willing to serve the Lord in a time when God is calling for a lot of young people to serve him. In a time when the nation is depressed and sad and it's at a standstill. But God is wanting to work and he's ready to work for us. We, we underestimate how important the family is. The family is the bedrock of civilization. It's the bedrock of everything. And so uh, to think of Zechariah and having these spiritual influences, that's a very important thing. We want that. And right now, when church and family are under attack, uh, Zechariah gives us an example of somebody who is raised up to follow and seek the Lord, and he had parents that helped him do that. And we want to do the same thing. Like I said, prophets are often received poorly. You know why? Because we humans, we tend to, fallen humans, we want to follow our own agenda. And it gets in our way when God comes and God follows his own agenda. But you know what? His main agenda is to save us. So uh, we should be glad that he wants to do that. And I'm glad for those that are willing to serve him. Even though it's going to make you kind of an unpopular figure in your society. So the Bible, there's a reason why the Bible says, believe his prophets, so shall you prosper. And that's one thing we need to do. We want to believe his prophets and we want to be established. And today we want to be people who hear what God is doing and say yes to every which thing he says for us to do. So we can't always choose our mentors. We don't get to choose our parents or even really our pastors sometimes. But you know what? We should seek out spiritual guides, people, people who are wanting to be faithful to the Lord. And Zechariah gives us that example of somebody who's stepping out to do the right thing. May God help us to choose our mentors well. Mm -hmm.